Coming up, pressure on Boris Johnson from... Pressure on the Prime Minister to provide a roadmap out of lockdown. V Lunchtime News with Lucrezia Millerini. Good afternoon. More than 50 Tory MPs representing the north of England have written to the Prime Minister demanding he outlined a roadmap out of lockdown for their areas. More than 8 million people, mostly in northern regions, are living under the strictest Tier 3 restrictions. The MPs who have signed the letter say Boris Johnson's election pledge of levelling up the country is under threat from coronavirus measures. Our political correspondent Shihab Khan reports. Well, in Wales, an announcement is expected on some of the controversial restrictions imposed there. Supermarkets have been banned from selling non-essential products during the 17-day fire break period. Rob Osborne, decisions and businesses, what are they hoping? Immunity from COVID-19 could only last a few months. A new study from Imperial College London is the topic for this week's clinic with Dr Sarah Jarvis. Scientists looked at the antibodies that build up during infection and protect against reinfection. The study found 4.4% of adults had some immunity to the virus in September compared to 6% in late a married police officer has been found not guilty of murdering his long-term lover. Timothy Bremer had pleaded guilty to killing nurse Claire Parry in a pub car park, but a jury this morning found that he wasn't guilty of her murder. Well, Richard Slee is in Salisbury. Still to come. But first, with one week to go until the American election, Donald Trump is celebrating a victory for the Republican Party. Overnight, his favourite, Amy Coney Barrett, was sworn into the Supreme Court. That will secure a Republican majority in the court for many years to come, which could even influence the election itself, as our Washington correspondent, Robert Moore, explains. Well, let's go to Washington now. And... BBC presenter Victoria Derbyshire has apologised for saying she would break the rule of six at Christmas in order to see her family. She told the Radio Times she would do so knowing the risks when a reporter closed. Excitement over reports that Woolworths could be making a return to the high street was short-lived. A Twitter account... A pack of dogs trained to detect COVID-19 has been given the royal seal of approval this afternoon. Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, has followed the progress of the medical detection dogs. Now she's seen them in action. While Royal Editor Chris Ship was there. That's it. Charlene White will be here with the ITV Evening News at 6.30. The news where you all follows the national weather. But from everyone here on the Lunchtime team, bye-bye. Hello again. Now the main stories in London. It's one week on since residents of a housing complex in West London were told to leave their homes over safety concerns. The Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer has been involved in a collision with a cyclist in North London. It's decades of structural discrimination led to the disproportionate impact of the pandemic on black, Asian and minority ethnic groups, according to a report led by Baroness Doreen Lawrence. Police are calling for the safe return of stolen prints by a hackney artist that were intended for people living in the area. The and how do you fancy 15 hours on a bike and treadmill all in a pod on the London Isle? Well, that's exactly what one veteran is doing for charity. All right, time to see what the weather is doing. Here's Helen. And that is all from the London team for now. We are back, of course, at six. Until then, enjoy your afternoon. Bye bye.